what's up guys welcome back to the channel in today's video we are continuing with the battles for the best tcg of 2023 and ending with the last battle of round 16 between Yu-Gi-Oh's Duelist Nexus and Yu-Gi-Oh's Battles of Legend Monstrous Revenge. Without further ado, let's get right to it. Alright guys, so... This is the last battle for round 16, and we got two Yu-Gi-Oh booster boxes going against up each other. So let's go ahead and open these, and let's see which one advances to the next round to take on Dragon Ball's Power Absorb. All right, guys. So let's start off with let's start off with Battles of Legend. All right. Let's see this one. We are going to get 24 packs, but there's only 5 cards per per pack. So here we go. Alright, for some reason this one's... this. Whoa, these packs are the other way. Alright. So here we go. Yep, 24 packs, guys. Here we go. Start off with the first pack. Put this right over here. And right off, we got perform performable or recurable. That's interesting. Ghost fusion. And we got a secret water enchantress of the temple. All right. Arms regeneration and Sekitama. Oh, actually, I don't remember most of these cards. It's been a while since we opened Monster's Revenge. So, hopefully we can pull a quarter century out of these. Those are the ones with the uh, highest of value. Alright, Protection of the Elements here. We got a Photom Jumper. Lamia. And uh, Aratama. All right, so not much there. Yeah, I guess well, for what I'm, what I'm seeing from the list, all the top cards are are the quarter century cards, guys. So yeah, it's gonna be a wow, it's gonna be pretty bad <laughs> if we don't pull anything like that. So I'm guessing we get a secret, right? Per per box? I mean uh per pack. Odd eyes rebellion. Here we go. We got Rocket Quarter. Alright, not much there. Another Photom Jumper. All right. Courageous Crimson. All right. And we got Duality here. Yeah, guys, this is not looking, not looking good. I don't think these uh, secrets are top. And oh, I think from last time, I remember Super Polymerization was pretty good. So, not sure if the value has dropped for this card. All I know, Divine Arsenal, I think, is one of the top ones of the secret. So, maybe we could pull that card. We got Dante here. Macrocosmos. Here we go. Alright, we got Mother Spider here. 
Dark Arm Elemental Hero. Flame Wingman. All right. This looks pretty good. All right. And we're almost done. We're done with the right side. <laughs> That's pretty quick. All right, here we go. Hey, we got Link Decoder, number 92. All right, here we go. Sage of Benevolence, Performable, Odd Eyes, Butler. And we got my Dolge Queen. Uh, these, these are pretty hard names to, to pronounce here. Sky Striker. It's another good card from this set. Teller Knight. I don't know how you say that guy. Sorry. I am very butchering the names here. There you go. Very nice card. All right. There you go. We got Curse of Aramet here. Nightmare Corruption Ibli. I think IP Maskina is also in this set, right, guys? Uh, IP Maskina. So we got Junk Archer here. Come on, can we get one quarter century, guys? And there it is. <laughs> there you go. All right, so we got one. We got no punk foxy tune. All right, and there's the stamp. All right, we have pulled a quarter century, guys. All right, there we go. So that's a big advance for Battles of Legend to keep advancing. I think Duelist Nexus. Hey, we got the regular one. <laughs> there we go. I think Duelist Nexus has some pretty good cards as well, right guys? Here you go. Both of them next to each other. Quarter Century. And The Secret. Alright. Rocket Coder. I think that's gonna be it for this uh, for these packs. I don't think you could get two quarter centuries. <laughs> that would be nuts, right? So we got Herald of Pure Light. All right. Another Dante Traveler. All right. Three packs left. Can we get some of those high secret rares, guys? Shadow Light. That's not going to do it. Here you go, guys. There's Shadow Light. Hey, there we go. We got IP Mascarina. All right. I think this one has good value from what I remember. Not sure if it dropped a lot or not, or it went up. And we got the Sky Striker Ace. Oh, I think this one's up there too as well. Alright, so there we go guys. I, I think this is up there in price as well. So, wow, some nice pulls for uh, Monsters Revenge. Not bad. Alright, so now we're going to move on to Duelist Nexus. Put these right up here. Wow, we pulled the quarter century here. That's pretty cool. Alright, let's move this trash over here. 
Here we go, guys. Duel is Nexus. All right, here we go. 24 packs, guys. Do this Nexus. Here we go. It's a pretty good set, right? Hopefully, we can pull some quarter centuries from this one as well, right? So, here we go. We got Purely Shirley, Beta Evolution Pale, Super Heavy, Agnimo, and we got Ultimate Light, Nemleria, Greed Jar. Realm, Resonance, and Diabolica. All right. I think Crimson Dragon is in here, from what I remember, guys. So, what was it again? It's four, right? All right, let's do four. All right. So we got Ultra Jace, Unchained Soul, Q-Belt, Namleria, Daidara, Maggie Key, Double Headed, Dino here, Million Century, and we got Emperor Charles the Great. All right, our first Ultra card. Let's see, so we got, I know we got uh, Crimson, what was it again? Um, Crimson Dragon, but I think we also get Magicians of. Um, but just use the bonds in this uh, set. So that's going to be pretty cool if we do pull the quarter century for that one. Hey, Gaia Blaze. I don't think this got a uh, super rare or ultra rare. So, Vanishing Trap Hole. That looks like some guy from Demon Slayer, right? <laughs> that, uh, what was it called? Oh, I can't remember his name. The guy with all the personalities, right? All right, here we go, guys. So let's continue, and we got Mighty Dino King Rex. All right. Yeah, I think Magicians and Bonds was the is the top card in this set. Ultra J's per trader. All right, super rare. And then just common cards here. And we got Duelist Genesis. All right. All right, we got Chimera, the Illusion Beast. I think we already pulled a few of these from our previous boxes. Cause I did open about seven of these boxes on our like, first video, right? <laughs> Demigod of the Tistina. Here you go, guys. Another Ultra. All right. Oops, let's put it right over here. All right, we got Ultra Jace, Malwisp. So far, we haven't pulled any secrets. Do we even get secrets on this uh, box? We should, right? Mirrors or night. It's interesting. And we got Synchro Force Pack. Another super rare. Hey, there we go. 
we got our first secret. Sleipner the Runic Main. Here you go, guys. All right, not bad. All right, hopefully that has some value to keep up with Monstrous Revenge because I think Monstrous Revenge has some great pulls. All right, Angelica, Princess of Noble Arms. Oh, that's a nice card. All right. I think that one has a quarter century and it's up there in price as well. Magnum the Reliever. All right, a bunch of comments here. Chimera Fusion. Magician of Faithfulness. Oh, that's a nice card. That's supposed to be kind of like a Magician of Faith, guys. From, I think, Legend of Blue Eyes. Let me know in the comments. I think it is. Hey, <laughs> there we go. We got our first Duelist Nexus Quarter Century card, guys. There's the stamp. All right. Oh man, it took eight boxes <laughs> to finally open one. So there you go, guys. Chimera, the king of Phantom Beasts. All right. We pulled a quarter century. I don't think it's the best one, right? <laughs> yeah, but nonetheless, it is. A quarter century car, guys. That is awesome. All right. So it's going to be interesting at the end. It probably looks kind of close. All right. That's a nice pull. Now we got Fusion Armament. Another Ultra. Telematic Gladys here. All right, four more packs. All right, we got Sentinel of the Testina here. And we're still missing a secret, guys. That is for sure. You're finished. All right. And there we go. Crystal God Testina. Our second secret, guys. There we go. All right. That's going to be it. Maybe we're gonna get another super rare on this last pack. So we got Rescue Ace Preventer, Science of the Testina, Daidara, Unchained Soul, Red Eyes Black Meteor Dragon. Yep, super rare. There we go. All right, there you go, guys. Those are our three big hits. So I'm gonna clean this mess and come back uh, right back, guys. All right, all right, guys. So here we go. We got all the cards already from Duelist Nexus and from Monsters Revenge. We got the Secrets, Ultras, and the Quarter Century we pulled. And we I tried to pull all the Secrets on this side over here for Monsters Revenge. And it's Quarter Century that we actually end up pulling. But yeah guys, after adding up the numbers, the winner is Duelist Nexus. Takes it guys by a very small margin. Now, it was very close, guys, but 
Duelist Nexus actually had some value on its secrets and ultra rares. Compared to Monsters Revenge, all the ultras didn't have much in value. And the quarter century card, uh, the quarter century card had a good value. But other than that, the secret rares, other than Super Polymerization, Duality, Shadow Slide. Uh, I'm surprised uh, Sky Striker and IP Mascarena didn't have much in value, but it had some kind of value. But at the end, by adding all these numbers, it came up short. Surprisingly, I actually thought Monster Revenge was going to take it. Not by a big margin, but kind of like a small margin. But it was actually the other way around. So yeah, Duelist Nexus is going up against Dragon Ball Power Absorb. And yeah guys, that concludes round 16. So now we're going to start the quarterfinals next round. So something very fun and excited. I can't wait for those OP boxes to go up against each other. We got Paldea Evolve going up against Awakening of the New Era. Oh man, it's gonna be it's gonna be very fun, guys. But yeah, guys, if you guys enjoyed the video, smash a thumbs up, subscribe if you haven't, and comment down below, guys, your thoughts on the battle between Battles of Legend and Duelist Nexus. And I'll catch you guys till the next time. Bye.